John! John Jacob Jingle Hammersmith. No, not that kind. The word I'm talking about is John. Like Bollywood, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, y'all not supposed to be dating in the first place, boo loving type of John. If you're South Asian, you probably know what I'm talking about. And by South Asian, I need us Kashmiris, the Pakistanis, the Indians, the Bengalis, etc. So if you're South Asian, you probably know what I'm talking about. Or if you don't, then I don't know what's wrong with you. But if you're not South Asian, let me simplify this for you. It's kind of like bae, boo, baby, butter muffin, blanket, biscuit, bah. It's a pet name for your loved one. But see, in not South Asian cultures, um, you guys have more words to describe these things. Whereas brown people, such as myself, have very limited vocabulary when it comes to pet names. And it mostly just goes down to John. We couldn't do anything else, it was just John. If you think about it, probably the reason why we're doing this whole John thing is to be like that Bollywood ha ah, <laughs> type stuff. Either way, the word is the funniest thing in the world to me. Now let me take a step back real quick. I haven't made a video so far that has anything to do with my round side, so I thought I'd bring that in a little bit. If, if you're not South Asian, you can still enjoy this video because you get to learn about it. But here, Think about it this way. Let me just kind of put it into perspective to you. If you walked in a room and you're a guy and there's a room full of girls, the best way to figure out who's in the relationship is just to say, John, whoever is in a relationship, turn back like this. <laughs> not too loud. You don't need to be private about this. Oh, wait, you're not my man. You're just another brown person calling another brown girl because we all have the same pet names. How could we not get it mixed up, you know? Now, using this in context, Let's put this into the actual relationship containing the genres. And I call these the genres because there are three specific type of genres that I'd like to cover. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm not talking about all y'all. I'm not talking about every brown relationship. I'm not saying all y'all hide it from your parents. Whatever it is, I'm only talking about these three. And if it happens to be about you, that's a little. There's three different types of genres. Well, there's probably a million different types of genres, but the three that I'm gonna cover are the ones that mm, I find the most funniest. Funniest? Yes, that is a word. Okay, thank you. This is for my John-less girls and boys right here. You can go ahead and see. These are some of the relationships that are out there, and especially if you're hiding it from your parents, these might happen. Maybe. Probably. If you're brown. Yes, it will. Okay. Let's start off with the John flaunter. The jaunter. This is a person that flaunts their John. But the is real messed up. This couple will make you feel like you are so out of the way. Make you feel like you have the worst relationship no matter how great it is because they'll flaunt every part of it to you. But the thing is, you'll never know how bad it is because you're not seeing it. You can only see what they're showing to you and they like to flaunt their it. One will be like, hey, bring me chocolates. And the other one will be like, well, I just got told to bring chocolates. I should go bring chocolates. When they bring chocolates, it'll be like, Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, look, they're the best person ever. Like, they just surprised me with this. Oh my god, my John's the best. They just surprised me with this candy. They're so good to me. You wish you had this. They're so good to me. This is usually that couple that is really messed up that goes on and on and on and on. And you're like, wow, how is it going this strong? And it's because they never lose interest because they're constantly fighting, getting back together, bringing each other presents to make up for, doing stuff to make up for everything, and then their relationship just keeps being interesting. Then you'll have all these people looking up to them like, your guys' this relationship is magical. Please teach me to be like you. And they'll be like, oh, you can't have this. The whole time, their relationship probably sucks. Their man's cheating on them like four times a week. Little did you know. They also probably forgot what privacy is because God forbid that they don't tweet something sweet that they say or screenshot, screenshot a conversation that they said something nice or take a picture of everything they bought them. You think this is constant, but they just never forget to upload these things. They never forget to update you on what is going on because God forbid you miss out on that. Maybe the next type of genre can teach them a thing or two. Keeping things a little bit private. The next one is the John Hider, the Janider. This person swears they love their John so much, but you have no idea who it is because they won't tell you. But all it is is that they'll post like half pictures of like half their hand just showing theirs to be like oh no what if someone recognizes them by the whole hand or 
by the whole picture even. God forbid you post a picture with them. You can't have it out there that you're dating them. It's super private. You can't do anything about it, but you're still going to put it out there. That is what I question. Only time you're ever gonna know that they're broken up is when they post a quote being sad or something. Sometimes it gets so intense, like with this halfway relationship that you can only see, that you question like, is this person dating themselves? Like, are they dating another personality of them own self? It's like you've gone through such lengths to expose your relationship like, hey, look, I have a girl or I have a boy, but I'm not gonna tell you who it is because I'm private about things like that in my life. Don't post things with half ass shit. I go through such lengths to expose your relationship. We're gonna go through such lengths to keep it covered. I mean, do whatever you want, but your girl icons over here are a little concerned about you. Like, are you dating yourself? I don't know, but I guess the John Hyder's a little bit better than the John Hopper. This girl boy has a new John about every week and it just gets to the point where like, isn't your John card maxed out, son? In fact, these John Hoppers need to hop, hop, hop into a hole, recollect and think before they re-enter the world. Like, the next boy I meet is not John. Like, it doesn't make any sense. How can so many people be your John? God forbid you leave anyone. Isn't there a limit to this shit? The John collector, the John taster, the John toucher because this is usually the same person who goes ahead, instead of getting their feet wet into a relationship, they go straight to the deep end. And then a week later they're like, well, you're not the person I thought you were. Well, maybe you shouldn't gotten time to know them. So because of this consistent mistake, you're like, you're not what I thought you were. Because you didn't know any of them. Sure enough, as soon as that one's over, you're with a new tall glass of water. It's not even like you're a doorknob or anything, if you get what I'm saying, but you're more so just deeply falling in love with all of these people so quickly and then getting your heart broken in the end. Each person becomes your John and why? Just let them be for a little bit. Let your relationship grow. The more it's about to do that, the more you're about to know them, the less things are to go wrong. But if you're any of these things, just know we're here for you. You can contact us at get your shit together at calmyourself.sit down. If you recognize any of these couples or genres or see them or relate to them or are them share this it's okay you can share it it's all right free brown people love free shit subscribe if you like this share it like it i'm akon and until next time i love you